Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, ow. <laughs> anyway, uh, so happy spring, first of all. Hello. Um, it is springtime, time for flowy dresses and jean jackets and wonderful weather. Now, let's get to why we're all here, okay? So, I decided that instead of starting last week on Monday, just because there's so much going on on General Hospital right now, I wanted to start on Cliffhanger Friday. I just kind of felt like we could get a lot out of the episode because anybody who knows the show well enough knows that on Fridays you're getting all the good stuff and a bomb ass cliffhanger. So let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, the uh, episode aired on March 19th, 2021. And the episode opens up with Valentine runs into Nina and she's about to leave town. And he's like, where are you going? She's like, eh, I don't want to talk about it. I'm just leaving. Blah, blah, blah. So she leaves. And then... Valentine runs into Brooklyn Quartermain. Now, Brooklyn is, you know, kind of trying to evade, trying to leave, trying to go. And then he sees that she is nice, big, and pregnant with what he is already, like, basically assuming is his child because they did have a one night stand. And then, um, we move into Carly confronting Elizabeth about the fact that Jason was arrested for Franco's murder. Now, this storyline, I gotta be honest, is killing me. It's killing me because Elizabeth should know better. Like, you had a whole child with this man. You had a whole relationship with him. You know better. You know daggone well he would not do that to you. But okay, whatever, girl. Um, Robert pulls up uh, at the Metro Court and he sees um, Jackie and Cyrus Renault taking, you know, his frustrations out on her because his mother's still missing. By the way, a mother who wants nothing to do with him, but I'll get into that on another day. Um, Dante pulling a gun on Peter and following that up with Ned and Olivia talk about Brooklyn. Now, Olivia kind of gives him the heads up that Brooklyn is back in town, but she has not said why or what her current state is as far as her being pregnant. She's going to leave that up to... Brooklyn to do a big reveal because we know she's dramatic and by the way I definitely need to look into the name of the character who plays Brooklyn but fun fact she was also first of all wait back up homegirl has not aged a day she has not aged a day she looks completely beautiful and she was actually on Gossip Girl as one of um Blair's minions so that's fun so I love seeing her back on TV and I'm Glad she is back on the show. Now, um, we also have Finn tells Chase that he was also blindsided by the paternity test. And then we have Sunny talk, Sunny, AKA Mike, talking to Phyllis, who is the owner um, of the, the co-owner of the Tano. It's so weird, like when a couple owns a business, do you call them the owner or the co-owner because they're both owners? I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah. And so, uh, it, so then we go back into Valentine talking to Brooklyn and I hate to say this. Well, no, I don't because honestly, like the, the guy who plays Valentine, he's so freaking good. Like he, you'd love to hate the guy, but then he has these moments kind of like when Lulu was, he was about to give up custody of Charlotte to Lulu cause he was going through all this stuff, but he like gave me very likable vibes and I was like, why do you gotta be such a dick though? Like, cause most of the time he is, he's like, a he's a dick, but love him. Anyway, um, okay. Uh, uh, he is telling Brooklyn, like, I want to try to get you back into deception. She was like, I can't sing right now. I need to go. I don't, I don't have it. I gotta go. And he's just like, well, what about if you were to manage other singers and blah, blah, blah. And then she's just like, look, I can't do all that. I am pregnant. I gotta go. He's like, is it my baby? And she's like, look, that is, it's my baby. So I'm out. And so there's that. Then we have Sam running into, hold on. Let's run that back. 
Okay. Sam, uh, she had called Spinelli to see about checking in on Maxie. And then Spinelli was like, Maxie's with me. Then she realized that Peter was going into a trap. First of all, Sam, mind your business. I don't know what has happened to her as a character, but she is absolutely killing me. Like, girl, mind your business. Worry about the business that pays you, sis. Worry about them kids or or what is she does she have a job anymore oh yeah she just got actually she has full ownership of the pi um uh agency that her and um curtis owned so i'm just like baby squirrel i'm gonna need you to like let peter just get murdered i love wes ramsey that's the name of the guy who plays peter august but bro, like I really wanted him to have like a redemption arc and he's just a dark, sinister little monster. And like with him and Cyrus Renault partnering. Uh, okay, not going to jump ahead, but it's a lot. <laughs> anyway, um, so then Sonny, sorry, Mike tells Phyllis about the poker game and how he sold his rings to be able to get into the game and that he thought he was going to have enough money to get back um his jewelry and he wasn't able to and she's just like don't why did you do that blah 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 then we get back to carly who is trying to talk to liz with some logic i mean the fact that elizabeth is <sighs> let me say this Re rebecca herbst I believe that's how you pronounce her last name. And Elizabeth Weber are two separate things. One is an actress. One is a character. So let's be clear. Elizabeth get on my damn nerves. And this is not the first time. She has legitimately gotten on my nerves for years. If it's not one thing, it's another. She is a total freaking hypocrite. And yes, I'm a Carly stan. So eh, yeah, of course, I love her. Oh, real quick. Okay, I'll get back into this in a minute. But it's like Elizabeth not taking into consideration the fact that it was just a sloppily done murder. It's just dumb. Like clearly Jason is the best hitman in in the world, at least in the world in the realm of Port Charles, New York. So it's just like, girl, be better, be smarter, be use your brain. You are so smart that you were able to become a nurse. How are you so dumb that you can't see that this is a whole ass setup? And who has to, who gains from Franco being murdered? Okay, thank you. Anyway, moving on. So Brooklyn comes in and Ned sees her belly and he's just flabbergasted. Like he's happy to be a grandpa, but he's like, what is this? So then Finn, we jump into Finn talking to Chase, who is uh, visibly upset. Like, obviously, it would be a very hard thing to deal with finding out that the person you believed is your brother is actually your father. But I think that the talk that he had with Willow was able to ease his mind at least a little bit in the grand scheme of things, because it's like, OK, what exactly does he lose and what does he gain? And I think that was the way to put it into perspective. Okay, so then Finn, Chase, and Jackie all get alerts on their phone and then boom, on the invaders front page is the DNA results. I was really irritated by that because I was like, how the hell does Peter know? Doesn't he have too much stuff on his plate? So as soon as I heard that, I was like, okay, sus, very sus. Who, who gains from that? Okay, now we jump back into Phyllis at the Tano talking to Mike and asks him if he thinks that he has children. He does not remember, so he's just like, I don't know. I hope nobody feels like I abandoned them, but what are we gonna do? So, uh, at, uh, so at this point, Sam has gotten the gun away from Dante. Peter has run off. Peter has run off and then, um, Dante has like a little mental breakdown. He's like, I don't know what happened to me. I thought I got better. Well, you're not, you're not better. And I really, I'm going to need you to just pull that trigger next time uh, Obrecht tells you, click, click, kill his ass. Go kill that fool. He's so much. I just, I wish like we could just shoot Peter, put him in the hospital in a coma for like a good six weeks. Let him just 
relax and, you know, just get, I don't know, better. I don't know how that's going to work, but like I need a redemption arc for him because I love Wes Ramsey, but I just cannot take that. By the way, FYI, fun fact, Wes Ramsey and Laura Wright, who plays Carly, are a couple in real life. They're so cute. By the way, oh, that's what I was going to get back to. Laura Wright, clock me if you want to, come for me if you dare, hit a dislike, it means nothing to me, but I'm going to tell you, Laura Wright has the best hair on daytime TV, period. I don't understand why Vida Sassoon is not like, please be our, you know, like, what is the word? What is the word? Uh, be our ambassador. Be the face of our products and art. Her hair is so gorgeous. She's naturally curly haired. Her hair is very, very, very thick. Thick. And it takes heat so well. Because Carly, the character, her hair is straight all the time. And so the fact that she has put that much heat on her hair regularly and that stuff is healthy and just... <laughs> yes, girl. Yes. Her stylist, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're just going to say that. Okay, now... Valentine calls his lawyer. He calls Martin Gray about Brooklyn because he is trying to get that baby. He wants that baby. You know, he's he loves being a dad. He's a good dad. I'm not going to sit there and crucify his character as just like because he's a monster that he's all the way around a monster because he's not. But he definitely is like he's a good dad. Sort of. Well, actually, okay, let's go back. Charlotte ass is bad. And I don't know why we never... Let's go back to when Charlotte put a mother flipping snake in Ava's purse. It That girl's bad. She might need her little ass whooped as a character, not as a human. But, like, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, uh, Olivia runs into Robert at the Metro Court. They start talking about how... Like, all the things that have transpired and blah, blah, blah. And then the things with Maxie and Peter and so on and so forth. And then, I don't know, I love Olivia and I like Robert. And he's been on the show forever. You know, bless his heart for staying on the team. Like, I'm here for that. But sometimes that their storyline is a little boring for me. And I really, oh, I beg you writers, do not write them as a couple. I cannot stomach that. It was hard enough with Finn and Anna, no offense, but they just don't give me the chemistry that I need for things to feel like fluid, right? Okay, so Chase goes in on Jackie. He kind of kirked out on her, calling her all kind of liars, and he thought she was the beacon of truth, and she's a whole ass liar. Okay, Renault and Peter are actually responsible for the article coming out in The Invader and the Renault calling the lab to have the DNA test. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, switched or basically given the results that he wanted is what he said. I want this to reflect the results that I want. And here's the thing, like, obviously, like, it just sucks when, like, you just like, now who else decided to do that? Oh, maybe because Brad's not in the in the lab anymore. Because if Brad had been there, he'd have been like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. But Brad would have been dead. Anyway, so we'll get into that another time. Let's see when Brad pops back up. Because he's still in Pentonville. Actually, no, he might still be in the hospital. He was there Valentine's Day, I believe. And now he's just kind of, he sleeps somewhere. Um... And then let's see. Um, yeah, Nina shows up at the Tano right after Sunny leaves the scene. And yeah, that was our Cliffhanger Friday, and it was great. Um, I look forward to everything that's coming. Some of the storylines are starting to, you know, come to a place of what was the right word? Not conclusion, because I don't think that that's something you can expect on a show like this, not for real. But definitely we're getting somewhere. I'm loving it. I'm here for it. And yeah, I can't wait to get into the goody stuff. Yes. All right. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, drop a like comment. Let me know what you think or what you think is going to happen. I have a couple of predictions, but we'll get into those later. Um, yeah. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>